In our previous video, we discussed what strings are. In this video, we're going to take a look at something that is a bit confusing in strings, and that is something called a substring. Substrings are a bit confusing in Java just in the way that they work, so I want to go through a little example here. Now, uh, our eventual goal is to be able to parse out a flat file, and by flat file, I mean something that is like comma delimited, or in this case, it's semicolon delimited, but some kind of file like that. So let's start with a simple example. Now, I live in Ohio, and in Ohio, once every four years, it becomes very popular with presidential candidates. And then after that, uh, you barely hear from the person who was elected. But nonetheless, the reason is Ohio is a swing state. Okay, so it's one of the states that they consider that, des that determines the uh, presidential election. So I'll say string. And then we'll say Ohio equals Ohio is a swing state. Okay, now what I want to do, I, 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 I want to take this string and chop it up. And I'm going to chop it up by saying Ohio dot substring. And notice that it, that it takes a begin index and an end index. This is where things get a little bit confusing because we have to know what these numbers are. So I'm going to say su uh, substring, and I'm going to say 8, comma, 11. Okay? Now, that is not going to modify the string called Ohio, because remember, strings are immutable, so we cannot modify a string. We can simply create a new string from changing an existing string. So I will say string question equals Ohio.substring 8, comma, 11. Then we'll say system out print line answer and then we'll say plus question. Okay, so what's that going to return? Well, in the land of Microsoft, uh, the .NET technologies, I'll say this makes a little bit more sense to me than it does in Java. The begin index means what is the character where we start counting, and then the next number is how many characters are we going to return beginning with that begin index. That's in .NET, not the same in Java. In Java, it's a little bit different. The substring method means I want to take this original string and I want to pull out the characters beginning at 8 inclusive, ending with 11 exclusive. Now, what does that mean? I want to start with the character 8. I want to include that number. I want to include 9. I want to include 10. I want to stop at 11, and I do not want to, I do not want to count 11. Okay? So that's the first thing that's a bit confusing, is that we start at 8 and we include that, we stop at 11, we do not include that. The other thing that's confusing is that, what is character 8? Well, in Java, we start counting with 0. So O is character 0, H is character 1, I is character uh, 2, and so on and so forth. So think to yourself for a moment, what would substring 8, 11 return? Let's take a look at this in Excel. I've put together a spreadsheet. Let me see if I can bump up the resolution a bit. There we go. Where I've numbered each of the letters. So O is 0, H1, I2, O3, space is 4. A couple notes. We do count spaces as a character. We do not count the double quote, though. The double quote is simply a container. That's our shortcut for the string constructor. It's just a, basically a flag to the operating system. So when I, state, when I say we start counting with zero, that does not include that, uh, that beginning quote. Okay, so Ohio was a swing state. Okay, oh, you know what? I got the wrong number, sorry. Um, let me do 11 comma 14. I know, what, I know what I want to get out of this. I realize I just put the wrong numbers in. So let's make that 11 comma 14. And what would that return? Well, let's take a look in Excel. Character number 11 inclusive is W, 12 is I, N is 13, and we're going to stop at 14 and we're not going to include it. So why is it that presidential candidates pay attention to Ohio every four years? Because Ohio is a swing state and characters 11 through 14, 11 inclusive, 14 exclusive, is when. Let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. So simply right click and choose run. Answer, win. There we go. 
Uh, when I first, my first job out of college was what was something fairly common at that time in the late 90s, which was to take something from a mainframe and then read a file in from a mainframe, parse it out, move the data somewhere else. Uh, in the 90s, mainframes were still very popular. Of course, there's there are many still in use today, very popular then. A lot of times, Java was just a front end to access that mainframe data. And I initially, one of the things that I did, I was pulling out some financial information and I miscounted when I did a substring. And essentially what I did is I dropped one digit from every number that I read in, which essentially divided every number by 10. Uh, that would have been real trouble if it actually got out into production, but luckily one of my coworkers caught it. So the lesson here is we always want to test our work thoroughly when dealing with substrings. One other option we have with substrings is to only specify the begin index. So if I just put in 11 and I don't put in an end index of 14, what we'll see is that it's going to return the string that begins at that begin index inclusive and then goes all the way to the end of the initial string. In other words, we start with the W and win and we return everything else in this string. So let's go ahead and play it as it is now. And let's see what happens when we leave off that end index. So I'm going to go ahead and choose run. And you see wing state now because we're starting at that W. Remember the W is 11 and we're going all the way to the end. Wing state is what we get if we only specify that begin index. Now, in this case, we're assuming flat data where we always want character 11 and we always want character 14. That might not be the case. So when we get to parsing our data, our, our data that looks like this, we're going to see how we can deal with variable data. In other words, um, you notice that this URL here, which is a photo, is a bit longer than this one here. Okay, so the semicolons are going to stop at different places. So we're going to consider how we can vary this a little bit and how we can use some variable data. That video is going to be called index of and car at, and I'll make that a separate video. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.